welcome back to the channel this is BT plays here and today we are on the crew motor fest and we are testing out the Lamborghini Huracan a very beautiful vehicle and it's not actually exclusive to the crew motor fest but I still wanted to test it out to see if it is still any good in the game but before we get into it don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new as it does help out the channel but yes the Huracan as you can see here has been transferred over with me from the Crew 2 so I did buy it in the Crew 2 and it's now transferred into the Crew Motorfest and we'll see if it is any good because Lamborghini uh, vehicles in this game there is a lot of them and so far they've all been pretty good even the Mayara so we'll see if this one is any good as well so let's get into the customization colour wise what do we want I do automatically like that blue and we're putting that blue on already wow that was quick that was very quick for me to make up my mind but I just like that blue we have also six hoods to choose from now getting into the customization to be fair they're not great I'll go I'll stick with that one I guess we have eight front bumpers as well I do like the uh, Italian flag at the front but it doesn't really match the uh, the color scheme we're going for We'll go for that one. We have two front fenders. I'd rather just keep that plain to be fair. I'd rather actually keep that plain for once. Uh, calipers obviously red. We have two side mirrors. Again, the Italian flag just doesn't go with the colour scheme. We have two skirts. We'll go with the black to um, mix it up a little bit. We have two rear fenders. Um, I can get behind that. Yeah. We, that's what we've really got on, but yeah, I like that. That's uh, the only good fender on this car. We have four rear wings as well. This thing with no wing does look very... It does look very nice, but do we want a wing or not? I don't know, you know. Let's let's go without a wing. Let's try it without a wing. Let's, let's see how it looks without a wing. We also have eight rear bumpers as well. These ones look pretty good. We're going to go with that one there. And then obviously the interior colour as well. We'll just have white stitching. There we go. White stitching. And that is our Huracan for the day. Obviously vanity items and livery items can be applied. But we'll just keep it as it is. And let's get straight into the performance of the vehicle. So it is a street racing vehicle. And it has a base level 591. But we're not here for base levels, we are here to put on the max parts possible. So let's put all the 750 parts we can onto this vehicle and see what this thing looks like on paper. So 750 parts now on, it has a top speed of 225 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, brake distance 60 to 0 is 18.8 yards and has 730 horsepower as well. So this vehicle does look pretty good. But will it be any good in game? Well, let's test it out and I'll see you at an event to test it out in a second. Here we are with the Huracan and to be fair, it does look pretty nice without a spoiler or a rear wing. But let's test out this vehicle. It does look very, very nice. So let's go, shall we? And I really want to turn car off, but I don't know how. Anybody know how to turn car off? Can anybody tell me down below? how to turn her off because she is really really annoying especially when you've done everything yeah just someone tell me how to turn her off please here we go oh very quick off the line there very very quick off the line okay this thing is very very fast wow we've got a bloody dodge what challenger up here with us hellcat up here with us with the Lamborghinis but we are off come on get some speed up in here got a few turns oh not a good turn at all we're wall riding a little bit just a little bit <laughs> um, but no it doesn't feel too bad it does like look at that that handles really really well that's just me not driving properly and being shocked about how easy it is to actually control but little turns like this easy there is no trouble turning with this vehicle I don't think obviously we're gonna have to check the brakes as well but we are off handling feels pretty good so far hopefully we will win this event and hopefully this is a uh, 
Yeah, there we go. The brakes are very good. The brakes are very good. Wow, okay. That just proved my point. This vehicle so far feels pretty good. And I don't know what it is with Lamborghini vehicles in this game. They just all feel really nice. Like, they don't feel like they did in the Crew 2. Obviously, I'll keep saying this, but every vehicle felt the same in the Crew 2. But it's just nice to see that no vehicles really feel the same on this game. They all feel sort of different, and that's a good reason why you should, like, buy as many cars as possible, and obviously try out as many cars as possible because you don't know which one you're gonna like and it actually makes test driving vehicles a, like, a lot more meaningful now than just picking out a random car and just going for a, like a two minute drive and yes you can test drive in this game all you have to do is just go to the catalog and um, I think it's triangle to test drive or something but you can test drive vehicles just like in the crew 2 but yeah, the vehicles just feel so much better and the Lamborghini vehicles, all of them that I've tried have been pretty good. And I don't know if that's because they have their own playlist or what, but they just feel very, very nice and I actually do like this vehicle a lot. I wasn't going to test out this vehicle, but I was just going to see what it's like because obviously the Lamborghini playlist, I wanted to see how well... Lamborghini vehicles are in this game and I mean they haven't whoops they haven't disappointed one bit so far I will probably try and test out as many as I can because there is a lot of Lamborghini vehicles in this game now because obviously they added quite a few in as well which is nice to see but yeah I'll test out as many as I can I want to test out as many vehicles overall anyway because they will bring out more vehicles throughout the course of the lifespan of the game but the Lamborghini Huracan we tested it out just now and it feels very very nice the handling feels very nice the brakes are very good and it is very very quick as well so if you like all three of them then you definitely will like this vehicle but let's get into the final verdict so price I'm not exactly sure how much this costs I think it's around 480 500, I could be completely wrong, but it's around 400, 500 uh, thousand crew credits. I mean, crew bucks, sorry. 400,000, 500,000 crew bucks. So it's quite expensive for a street racing vehicle. Customization, there wasn't overly too much, but it's more of a performance based vehicle than a customization vehicle. So you do sort of expect that in terms of customization, but the performance was very, very solid. Like I said, handled very well brakes were very good and overall just a solid vehicle to use and I would definitely be choosing this vehicle all the time in street racing vehicles maybe this is my new 911 Carrera in the crew too who knows but if you have used this vehicle tell me what you think of it down below and I'm doing my final verdict so out of 10 I'm gonna give this vehicle a solid 8.9 out of 10 it's a little bit expensive yeah but it still is a very solid vehicle, so yeah, an 8.9 out of 10, I think is fair. But if you did enjoy this, video, uh, this review, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video.